Hello everybody, TQA here, coming at you with another interesting video today. You know, there are so many Christians out there that try to sweep things under the frog. They hide the morally bankrupt things that they do so that no one else will find out. The bad thing about all of this is is the fact that, that they're a, lo a lot of them get away with it. They get to protect their dishonest religion with dishonesty. It makes me sick. It isn't happening with this group of Christians, and I am going to be talking about today. And this is great because I get to share it with you guys. I get to shed some light on child abuse when Christianity... Let me share with you guys, uh, and let me know what you think about all of this. These Christians are playing at... These Christians are paying a big price for hiding child abuse. A very big price. When it comes to covering up sexual abuse of children, the Catholic Church is not the only religion in the game. Well, let's let's just face it. Looks, let's look at it the way it was supposed to be looked at. It is all one big religion known as Christianity? I just wanted to correct the little mistake right there for you guys. Anyways, Christians who committed the crimes and tried to protect it are no different from any other ones that they do the same horrific shit. Either way, they think it is a, a big game and it's time that this shit comes to end. The Jehovah Witnesses have been refusing to hand over in, internal documents related to child assault in the court case in California. And it's costing the church $4,000 per day so far. Their secretary means they owe $2 million, according to a new report by, by Revo. Patreon, a former Jehovah Witness, was sexually abused by, as a child by an adult member of the congression named... Gungazo Kam Kampos. Kampos confessed to sexually abusing seven children. I guess that these morally bankrupt Christians are willing to pay millions just so that they can get their just so that they can hide their guilt. It makes me angry to see Christians who are willing to do anything to protect their flawed fairy tales and to protect the sick and twisted people behind it. They were not even going to warn other people that to tell us a, a lot about these people, and this tells us that innocent people do not stand a chance when it comes when it comes to what is happening. Compass, a character, even confessed. Yet these Christians. Are, are still trying to protect this disgusting behavior. If they were actual human beings, they would uh, think about that justice for the innocent so is far more important than anything else. But that isn't the case here. Court records shows that the Jehovah's Witness actually knew the campus abused numerous children yet continued to promote him and didn't take any steps to keep him from doing it again. The church actually gave him more responsibility and the more access to children, despite their knowledge of the ad admitted whereabouts wrongdoings. According to the initial watch Watchtower documents, the doc... The organization has instructed uh, congressional leaders 
call the elders to keep child abuse secrets from law enforcement as a matter of uh, policy since at least 1989. These Christians, like I have said many times before, are showing us that Christianity is far more important than innocent children that they are involved with. I honestly do not know how these people are able to wake up in the morning and and live with themselves. Why would a person who is a known danger to children be being given more responsibility and more access to said children? That is to pay beyond what I can actually fathom. Keeping this shit as a policy since 1989 is a huge problem. Why? Just think about the number of crimes that people do not know about. Over this time period, I guess they think we're just going to ignore this. That we are going to, to let this blow by? Nope. I'm going I'm not going to doing it and it and I hope that nobody else does it either. I hope that these Christians are sued for everything that they have uh, and then some to the point where they have to live with dumpsters. I apologize for being so harsh, but it is what it is. Children are important here. They do deserve to be protected. Even the future of the of the children that are unfortunately placed in these perverted, the religious and the morally bankrupt cr cr circles. Guys, I do want to do want you all to know that there is a little bit more information to this story that will be provided in the description for you guys to check out. So I'm going to be I'm going to be doing it this way because I want to start making videos a little bit shorter while giving you guys information that you need to know at the same time. I'm going to start covering more abuse within Christianity. It has to be shown that Christianity and its morally bankrupt and the corrupt people behind it are nothing more than garbage.